If you like the top I'm wearing but didn't know where to get it before, it's your lucky day. Along with some other big changes to Conan lately, they've added back in the Headhunter event, which is where you get the Mad Prophet clothing, which is what this top happens to be part of. Similar to last time with a few little changes, you can now get the actual recipe to craft the armor, which is pretty cool, as well as some other armors and some other cool things like this truncheon and this binding for actually capturing the sorcerers. Plus we've had a little bit of a buff in some of the other, other functions which I will go into a little bit later. Mostly now I'm going to go around and show you where all the merchants are and what you can actually get off them. And if you have been lucky enough to be killing a bunch of sorcerers and still have access to your things and have kept those skulls, you can just bring those skulls in and pop them straight in these little brazers. So yeah, if you haven't been throwing out the sorcerer skulls from ones you've killed, kept them handy, you, you can in fact still use those. For the most part, we're selling pretty similar stuff at all the different merchants, but a couple of different ones have different armors, but there are some repeats of who sells armors. So by here at the pirate ship, right by the black galleon, we can get the braces. We can find the schematic for the Catan slaver armor, which I will also go into later. You buy the truncheon and the new binding, which so far are pretty good. You can buy the misplaced guardians will break up. You can buy a hardened steel shield which uh, it's perfected but still it's pretty expensive that it will be a different thing at every place these things will all be the same all of these recipes will all be the same and we'll go into what they do a bit later too some of them being pretty well priced compared to others but they will be the same at all the different merchants now to the best of my memory this is all the, the locations but it has been a little while since the event has been about and i'm pretty sure i haven't missed any you can also find one probably the easiest to access down here at Skulker's End. And the fun thing about this event is it doesn't matter what level sorcery you capture or their skull, it can be any level or tier, they'll all add the same thing. So if I was to get a tier one Defari sorcerer, it will be very easy to knock out and drag him here. I'll get the same amount as if I was to do a Hyperborean one from up in somewhere crazy. Same with the skulls. You get a variant amount with the skulls and some skulls actually do do better out of sorcerers you can get the magi skulls as well yeah this is a pretty easy area to come there's a few sorcerers in here and the trader offers also braces and as you can see the same stuff and now we get a little story and in some of them you will in fact find supply materials also and the ability to buy some thralls but you can no longer buy a legendary weapons like last time. Over by the West Wall Prison in Sepimero, another fairly decent place because these guys aren't aggressive unless attacked and you can find a couple of sorcerers kind of off by themselves that you can either knock out and kill like this guy up here. He's pretty easy to pick off and as you can see they mince stuff with these new truncheons. You can simply just, um, excuse you, collect. Bring him back over here. You're not going to aggro too much stuff around and get that 50 ancient obelisks. At this particular camp you can buy supply materials, you can buy combatants and crafters, you can get your story and in here you can trade and get some sandals or all of the other goodies. You can get a hard and steel great axe that's a little bit different. Heading over to the den we will find another little camp where we can find the helm of the mad prophet plus all the same things a great sword this time. You can buy your combatants and your workers and supply crates over here. Also I apologize if I sound even more nasally than regular. It's winter here at the moment and I've had a terrible flu. Another reason why this is out a little bit later than I would have liked it to have been. And I hope you'll too forgive me, but I'm sure I'll get some fun comments about it regardless. <laughs> find you Asgrab, we'll find another one. Not him. But we'll find another helm and another great sword. We have plant materials and I do believe here also have the combatant. Dude, yeah. There's a couple over in the jungle, one by the descent of Dagon. There we used to get the Valpeptus Fraser, I'm pretty sure. In a minute. And we can buy the tassets, which we haven't seen yet, and a spear. And it's fairly easy to get up a hundred ancient obelisks, as you've seen. I got 50 for just taking in those two thralls. And you don't need to have these truncheons to be able to do that. It works quite well with blunted and steel daggers and regular other blunted truncheony things. And then you can get yourself up a fairly decent starting weapon. Not quite as OP as when they sold legendaries, but this spot is another really good spot because they're quite spaced out and they're really easy to um, get here because they're only pirates. And there's a couple 
about oh this guy's the named guy what is that 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 not one of oh two two named guys very fancy sometimes you can find scrolls and stuff here too as well as a lot of silver sometimes this box has cool stuff in it and also a bearer who happens to be a named bearer right now i'm a I'm having lots of good luck right now. Also at the pirate ship, I found an edge smith like straight away. If this, I, of course, I happen to not actually need any of these rolls. <laughs> that is the way. Although they have fixed bearers and this named bearer, she not going to be as good. Or he's not going to be as good as say like one of the ones from up in Nordheimerville. Right by Booty Bay, we have another combatant, plan materials, shoes, a few easy to pick off sorcerers, just chilling on that island, getting about. This one by the sinkhole is another really easy one to get a bunch of sorcerers at because there's a lot of easy ones nearby and they're offering combatants supply materials and the shirt so if you actually want the shirt that i am wearing but i do highly advise actually just buying the schematic because you'll be able to make more of them especially if the event happens to leave this one feels rather in the middle of nowhere but a death kind of near death whisper ruins we'll find this one We'll find the model on here i'm pretty sure we'll find some gloves and do we have a supply material guy yes we used to have one by the ruins of almariah but now it is just almariah and no longer ruins it does not seem to be here anymore which makes a lot of sense so i'm not sure if they've added another sneaky one somewhere that i potentially may not end up finding in this video we shall see i think it's like up here they have not added the merchants back to up here though these guys are still fighters but who knows that might happen in the next cycle around the last but not least of the locations that I know about is up in the volcano right by the portal in from the snow here and I know where my bedroll is there going through that tunnel leads you to right here you can also buy the top here and a mace and supply materials this place is fairly good too even though they're all psychos and usually attack you now they didn't used to up here but now they do i'm obviously in god mode so they're going to but these guys can pretty much all be sorcerers sometimes so that's fun. And there's a couple other sneaking about in the volcano too. And every now and then, I'm fairly sure random events are still happening. Random encounters, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But there can be a random encounter here where you can get some good Magi skulls. And you just lead the dudes into the lava and they'll kill themselves if you happen to be a bit lower level or not have good weapons and armor, etc. It's really easy to get those dudes dead and then get the sorcerer who's in the middle. Let's buy some supply materials and see what we get from them at about 330 obelisks pretty decent pretty similar to what we got before lots of tar lots of steel and when you actually trade in the obelisks themselves you get a decent amount of steel fire and things like that too lots of iron definitely wait till you're home to open these or you'll be the very very full and you can use the berries to squish in a fluid press and get a bunch of early game oil or plant them if you want lots of highland berry bushes i guess here are some of the stats of the mad prophet and the katan slaver armor if i can speak mad prophet is a medium with no added benefits like heat or cold resistance or added stats like weapon damage etc but we've got some pretty decent stats for some practically free armor if you are starting out that was all of that nope here's the skirt and then the katan slaver is light again with no added attributes to it and then we have the sundered manacles which is a heavy wrist guard this is what the katana slaver's outfit actually looks like all together it's not my cup of tea but it certainly has its place for things then we have all of the mad prophet together which i enjoy much more the top being one of my favorite and the hat is pretty damn snazzy too we also get some decorations with the stygian slaver wayne the Catan Tribute Basin, which isn't telling me its name, but that's what that is. And Hardened Steel Cages. Fairly sure this is <laughs> the one. Being cool if any of, like, if that was actually a Wheel of Pain or something, and it was like the other ones. And I'm fairly sure you could actually place this cage up here. No. Uh, yes. I had it for a second. There we are. Very nice. Place it the wrong way around. And we also have the fireworks. We have the red one and the blue one. A bit like a flare. We actually oh, possibly should have waited for nighttime. That would have been cooler. 
of looking directly into the sun. Very fancy. Super unnecessary, but very fancy. Now I'm going to buy a couple of combatants from each place and workers. I don't think it'll make a huge amount of difference. Yeah, it doesn't. We're still getting those same type of guys we did before. That's a pretty decent outcome. Not gonna lie, could handle and see us straight away. Oh, I almost forgot to talk about that the misplaced guardian's will breaker is actually a very nice little weapon if you happen to like hammers, which I do. They're my favorite, so that's fun for me. Not the best hammer in existence, but shit, as a free one, basically, it's not bad. And this is what the shackles look like because I did also almost forget to show you that. Very shackly. Buy a couple from over by the pirate ship. I don't think we'll have anything different really. Ooh, lots of Delincias here. Maybe a mildly better chance at Delincias here. But yeah, so it's basically the same type of guys. You get a chance at some pretty average, like you're not going to get the best type of um, armor here with the shield right. And I don't think you can even get a blacksmith at all unless they have changed that. You can get a carpenter, an alchemist, dancers, armorers, smelters, Although I didn't happen to get in this melters that time. But yeah, at a pretty decent rate of stuff to start out with for sure. Yeah, I've got 12,000 ancient obelisks. I'm going to see what I can not get. Buying just workers. Because for the most part, you're going to get like Marcos, Vapnia, and to Delincia and I can't really remember what the other fighter is but it's something that's kind of decent. Maybe we'll have a little fap at those two. I'll be clicking for a minute. Jesus. Did almost forget to mention Tanners. Yeah this is basically what I ended up with. A whole lot of these guys durability not bad foes maybe i don't really know um whole bunch of alchemists so many smelters whole bunch of weight dudes lots of dancers and you can turn the unwanted like dancers and fighters and stuff into zombies if you want to so it does seem like they have kind of balanced it out a little bit you get a bit more of a well-rounded selection now compared to i could have just got all dancers last time it was very unbalanced yeah, I got 12,000 again and going to buy, <laughs> going to buy some fighters. Yanos, that's who it was. I knew it was some type of not hammer dude. Yeah, again, pretty balanced who we got. So they're maybe slightly more of the Yanoses and slightly more of like, no, they seem pretty balanced, but yeah, definitely slightly less the Delincias, but damn. So I was going to include some of my favorite farming routes for sorcerers and the easy way to get a whole bunch of ancient obelisks but this is already running a little bit long so do join me for the next segment where we'll be going over farming routes and some of the easiest ways to get up obelisks super fast there's only a couple of things that you'll need if you found this information informative smash that like button if you're not already consider subscribing and like i said stick around for the next segment where we'll be going over the sorcery hunting routes and whatnot and if you haven't already check out some of my soul mask content it's a new game much like Conan and exiles but a little bit more in depth and i've been spending a lot of time over there it's a bunch of fun i highly recommend checking it out as a game itself but until next time i hope you have an excellent day evening night morning whatever it may be wherever you may be see you next time